Stevie? Yes, yeah, Stevie? The shower's clogged. Totally wasn't me. With pink hair? We... We haven't had any unicorns to stay recently, have we? Hello, dearies. As you can maybe tell by the intensely reduced number of books plotting behind my back, I'm no longer in the London. I am once again at university, home to Lyra's bench, gown-clad choristers, and torturous tutorial essays. I, I just don't know. I don't know what T.S. Eliot means. Being a world-weary second year, I live in a house now, meaning I have to cook for myself, remember to pay the water bills, tidy my room, remember to pay the electricity bills, and develop a sense of smell so I can tell when the milk has gone off. Yeah, no matter how hard you pull that face, Stevie, it's not going to suddenly impart nosmic sensations. I'm living with a brilliant trio of people who've plied my affections with fake moustaches, toy dinosaurs, and an uncanny resemblance to sailors. The Oxford Harry Potter Society, which I of course am a leading member of, is elevating itself to ever greater heights. As I speak, we've actually sold out a 150 people strong Yule Ball, which will be taking place at the end of term. For which purpose we've organised locally brewed butterbeer ice cream and flying feathery companions. I'm half terribly excited about this as I liaise with bespectacled fortune tellers and order in reams of black hats, but as the date draws ever closer, I'm starting to also be somewhat terrified. Terrified that something will go wrong and it'll be all my fault. <sighs> what if the bunting doesn't match the streamers? <sighs> I just can't escape some serious worries. All in all though, it looks set to be a good term, as long as... What are you doing? My, um, e essay? Yeah, um, yeah, I was just, just, just doing that now. In front of a camera? Yes. And then Thatcher killed the children with her bare hands. The end. Also, on a quick note, I got to go to YouTube for Halloween. There were people and spooky sets, but nothing as scary as this. Be terrified.